Michelle Yeo. Yeo, Chu Kang PSMS PMP, known professionally as Michelle Yeo, is a Malaysian actress. She is the recipient of various accolades, including an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award. Awards, Academy Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role, see more. Born, Yeo, Chu Kang, August 6, 1962, age 62, Ipo, Perak, Federation of Malaya. Education, Royal Academy of Dance, B.A. Jayaping, Zhoeng 4Z2 King 4, other names, Michelle Khan. Simplified Chinese. Spouses, Dixon Poon, M. 1988, D.I.V. 1992, Jean Tote, M. 2023. Michelle Yeo was born in Ipo, Malaysia. She's the daughter of Janet Yeo and Kian Tik Yeo. She's of Hokkien descent, speaking English and Malay before Chinese. A ballet dancer since four, she moved to London to study at the Royal Academy as a teen. After a brief dance career, she won the Miss Malaysia Beauty Pageant title in and the Miss Mumba Beauty Pageant title in Melbourne, Australia in the early 1980s. Her first on-camera work was a 1984 commercial with martial arts star Jackie Chan. In 1985, she began making action movies with DNB Films of Hong Kong. She was first billed as Michelle Khan, then Michelle Yeo. Never a trained martial artist, she relied on her dance discipline and onset trainers to prepare for martial arts action scenes. She uses many dance moves in her films and does most of her own stunts. In 1988, she married wealthy DMB Films executive Dixon Poon and retired from acting. Even though they divorced in 1992, she's close to Poon's second wife and a godmother to his daughter. When she returned to acting, she became very popular w Chinese audiences. She later became known to Western audiences through role in the James Bond film Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997, and in the phenomenally successful Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, 2000. She turned down a role in a sequel to The Matrix, 1999. She has her own production company, Mythical Films. She trained with the Xinyang Acrobatic Team for her role in The Touch, 2002, an English-language film she both starred in and produced. She hopes to use her company to discover and nurture new filmmaking talent. She also aspires to act in roles that combine both action and deeper spiritual themes. Family Spouses. Jean Tote, July 27, 2023, present. Dixon Poon, February 1988, 1992, divorced. Children. No children. Parents. Janet Yeo. Yeo Ki and Teak. Trivia. Malaysian actress. Miss Malaysia 1983. Miss Mumba 1984. Member of the jury at the 2002 Cannes Film Festival. Member of the jury at the 1999 Berlin International Film Festival. Member of the International Olympic Committee since October 2023. One of the highest paid Chinese language actresses in the world. Attended the Hammond School in Chester, Cheshire, England where she began her training as a ballet dancer. However, a spinal injury keep her from becoming a professional ballet dancer and she changed her attention to choreography and other arts. Received her Bachelor of Arts degree in Creative Arts with a minor in Drama from the Royal Academy of Dance, R.A.D., in London, England, 1982. Received her Bachelor of Arts degree in a Creative Arts with a minor in Drama from Manchester Metropolitan University, MMU, in Manchester, England, 1983. Received an honorary degree, Doctor of Fine Arts, from the American Film Institute, AFI, for her services of distinction to the arts of the moving image on August 13, 2022. Received an honorary degree, Doctor of Humanities, from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology for her services to the film industry on November 16, 2023. She is the second woman of color to win the Academy Award for Best Actress. She received her Oscar for Everything Everywhere All at Once, 2022, from Jessica Chastain and Halle Berry, the latter of whom is the first woman of color to win the award. Yo won the award 21 years after Berry.
Her Best Actress Academy Award nomination for Everything Everywhere All at Once, 2022, made her the first self-identifying Asian actress to be nominated in the category. Merle Oberon was the first Best Actress nominee of Asian descent in 1936, but she did not publicly acknowledge her ancestry. Is known to have full-contract stunt fighting style. For the fight scene in the bicycle shop in Tomorrow Never Dies, 1997, the producers had to call in Jackie Chan's stunt team because none of the stuntmen wanted to do the scene with her, on account of her skill set. She went through an intense six-week preparation for Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005, described as Geisha Boot Camp, before production commenced. She and her co-star Zi Zhang nicknamed this crash course as The Seven Rooms of Torture. During the making of Super Cop, 1992, she and Jackie Chan got into a stunt competition, which keep escalating until the former had to inform the latter that he would end up dead trying to top her each time at the rate they were going. She not only performed her own motorbike jump stunt, before filming, she could not ride a motorcycle. Quotes The reason why I decided to wait two years after the Bond movie, and to work with Ang Lee in a martial arts movie, is because I really believe that this genre deserves more respect and dignity than it's ever been given. Before, people saw it as a fairy tale, they felt they could take it easy. But it shouldn't be about that. It's so steeped in our culture, it should have more depth to it. It's never easy to find that balance, when it's such a magical type of film, to make you accept our soaring to the skies. It was a risk, but when we did this movie, it was for a Western audience. Learning how to walk in a kimono was an art form in itself, if you didn't learn to do it properly, it was like dragging a dead cat across the floor. We had to walk with a piece of paper between your knees, and a tea tray balanced on your head. In Asia, we constantly play Koreans, Malay, Chinese. We do not question that, as you do not question an Englishman playing an American or a German. I prefer to be kicked four or five times well, you know, hard, than twenty or twenty-five times not so good. On playing Aung San Suu Kyi in The Lady, 2011, if there is one thing I learned from this experience it's you need to believe in people, and their ability to grow and to change. You can never give up hope. My career in the movie business began in Hong Kong, my heart has always been tied to Asia, and it is immensely gratifying to see international recognition for Asian cinema as a whole. If you read a lot of Chinese literature, there has always been very strong women figures, warriors, swords women who defended honor and loyalty with the men, so, it's not new to our culture, it's always been very much a part of it. It's good that now the Western audience would have a different image of the Chinese women. I have been presented with roles with demand not just a physical ability, but mental disciplines as well. Memoirs of a Geisha, 2005, was not so much about physical exertion. It was much more graceful and contained than that. Y Lin is the first Bond girl who is on a par with Bond, someone who can match up with him mentally and physically. From the moment our characters see each other, there is a wariness and a recognition that this person is not who she or he seems to be. I believe that the director is really the soul. It is a collaborative effort, but the director is the one who needs to have that vision. It could be a great script, but it starts from there. You need to have good material, at least, but if you don't have someone with vision, it's just words. I have people who love me, and people that I love and a man that I love. So in that sense, I feel that I'm pretty well-rounded. Martial arts is just practice. Being a geisha requires complete control. To be a geisha, you have to have to an ironclad layer around you, around your physical body, and your heart. As an actor, you hope to find roles that are challenging to you as an artist. Then if you are truly blessed, you will find that it also carries a message that you can impart to your audience. In many ways, I feel I'm still as physically fit as I was 20 years ago, because I've always been athletic. I have done many films across the globe and would love to be a part of Bollywood, but the script must have a strong character for me. If I only get to play Malaysian roles, there wouldn't be very many roles for me to play. When I watch myself on screen, I always look for the flaws. I grew up in Malaysia, and Bollywood is really big there. As a result, I've grown up watching a lot of Hindi movies. When you love someone, you don't try to change them. I don't like cutting my hair. I did that once, and my mom thought I was a boy. 
India is a great talent pool of actors. I see Frida Pinto making it big in Hollywood, and I am sure many others can also make it. I'm not a fashion victim, and I don't closely follow trends. I dress the way I feel comfortable, because, at the end of the day, you have to be comfortable. My mother is a very big cinema buff, so as a kid, we watched a lot of Indian and Malay films. My grandmother had flawless skin just from using basic skincare and old herbal remedy in the form of a white powder and cream. I don't actually know what was in it because when you're young, you're not interested in skincare, and I didn't want to walk around the house with a white face. I stretch and do my squats when I brush my teeth. This world belongs to all of us, and all sexes should be able to live in respect and harmony. When men have a smile on their faces, that does a lot for me. Let's empower men and help them take a stand to stop acts of violence against women. I kick and punch quite hard, and it surprises people. When a movie becomes very successful, it's automatic that people will start thinking a sequel, a prequel, a quell quell. I always thought of myself as James Bond. As a producer, what you want to do is make the next hit. But you also want to lead the audience into wanting to watch different movies. You have to vary your content. I thoroughly enjoy a good hot bath. That is my ultimate luxury. You have to have integrity. Your timing has to be very accurate. I've done a lot of wire work before. I can see that experience makes a big difference. Salaries. Wicked, Part 2, 2025, $1 million. Wicked, 2024, $2 million. Wicked, 2024, $1 million. The Witcher, Blood Origin, 2022, $70,000 per episode.